you can create some amazing effects using a combination of Avid Marquee and Avid Media Composer. Check this out. To create this effect, park over a frame within your sequence that you want to freeze. Then click on the Composer window, Fast menu. Now click on the Match Frame button within the Tear Off tool palette. Navigate to the Clip menu and choose a 1 second freeze frame. Then select a media drive. Choose an open bin to save your freeze frame and press the OK button. Press the Splice In button to insert your freeze frame into your sequence. Now place the playhead indicator over the freeze frame. Navigate to the Clip menu and choose New Title. Click on the Marquee button. After the Marquee Title tool opens, click on the Pen or Shape tool. Now carefully trace around your object. After you've traced around your object, navigate to the File menu and choose Save to Bin. Give your title a name and press OK. Within Avid Media Composer, choose a bin to save your title. Navigate to the Avid Timeline and turn off all the audio tracks and make sure V1 is the only track that is turned on. Now press the Mark Clip button. Use the keyboard shortcut Command Y to add a video track. Patch the V1 source track to V2. Then press the red Overwrite button. Move the position indicator back over the top of your freeze frame. Press the Mark Clip button again. Press Command Y to add another video track. Now patch the V1 source track to V3. Press the red Overwrite button again. Click on the freeze frame that's on V1 with the red segment arrow. Use the keyboard shortcut Command C to copy the clip. Move your playhead indicator to the end of the timeline. Now use the keyboard shortcut Command V to paste the clip. Using the red segment arrow, double click on the white title mat clip that's on V3. Using the red segment arrow, drag the freeze frame that you created into the fill area for the V1.2 fill track. Navigate to the Effects palette within the Avid Project window. Look for the BCC Lights category and find the BCC Rays Puffy Filter. Drag the BCC Rays Puffy Filter onto the white title mat that's on V2. Turn on the V2 track and turn off the V3 track. Move this monitor icon onto the V3 track. Now press the Effect Mode button. Twirl down the Disclosure Triangle for the Title Mat category. Activate the Apply to Title Mat option. Within the Composer window, move the Position Indicator to the first frame of the clip. Click on the Add Keyframe button. Adjust this red crosshair off to the side of the image. Now move the playhead indicator to the last frame of the clip. Move the red crosshair over to the other side of the image. Within the Effect Editor window, press the Render Effect button and then press OK. OK, back up to the front of the sequence and watch the final composite. For other great tips like this, or to enroll in an Avid Media Composer training course, visit GeniusDV.com.